Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.41. O Dhananjaya, winner of riches, a person who, while practicing Nishkama Karma Yoga, has given up the tendency for fruitive action through the principle of renunciation, who has dispelled all his doubts by transcendental knowledge, and who has realized the nature of his real self is not bound by karma. Sar Ardhavashni Sri Bhagavan speaks this verse beginning with the word yoga sanyasta to explain the kind of person who can be nishkama or free from the desire for the results of his action. Those who have realized the nature of their real self are not bound by karma. A person achieves this stage by performing Nishkama Karma Yoga, giving up fruitive action through the process of sannyasa, renunciation of attachment to the fruits of action, and then removing his doubts by the cultivation of transcendental knowledge. Sar Ardhvajni Prakashikariti In these last two verses, Sri Krishna is bringing this subject to a conclusion. According to the instructions of Bhagavan, one takes shelter of Nishkama Karma Yoga by offering all his actions unto his lotus feet. When the heart is purified by this process, it is illuminated by knowledge and this cuts asunder all doubts. At that time, such a person is completely free from the bondage of karma. The word pratyak atma mentioned in the commentary indicates the living entity who has given up sense of enjoyment and who has attained a devotional attitude towards Bhagavan. Otherwise, a living entity who is averse to Bhagavan and who is absorbed in sense gratification is called Parak Atma.